From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. I think everyone would really argue that the abnormal or atypical weather that we've experienced over the last couple of months is really typical weather for Idaho. A little bit of everything lingering winter. We had some days that were warm just to tease us, and tomorrow we get our first taste of summer. So maybe you'd really like to know what is an average spring day like here, since we haven't seen many average spring days uh, with snow in May. Today, pretty average for this time of year. 70 degrees for the high so far. That might pop up to 71 before the numbers go down in the books. Even our morning low starting at 51 due to the good deal of cloud cover that was around. A pretty mild but typical start to the day uh, for the middle of May. A record high for this time of year, 91, not even close to it. And that'll be the case tomorrow, even though we are going to see the warmest day of the year so far. The record for the day is into the 90s again for tomorrow, and I think we'll keep temperatures in the 80s, but still plenty warm, and we have haven't had a chance to really acclimate to the warmth just yet, so get ready for it tomorrow. This is the day we're breaking out the pool in the backyard. At least my family is our current temperatures. Really nice to enjoy the rest of this evening. 55 in McCall, 51 in Stanley and near 70 degrees through the Magic Valley, 70 in Boise. For the rest of this evening, it takes a while for our temperatures to fall back. So even once the sun sets just after 9 PM, that's happening now. We will uh, maybe have some great conditions to enjoy backyard fire pit or you just want to sit out in the backyard. You've got the hot tub in the backyard. Have at it. We are finally breaking into some more spring and cruising towards summer weather. And here is that first taste of summer for tomorrow. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. So don't forget the SPF, especially because you'll probably want to spend a lot of time outside. And we have highs that will be into the 80s really all across southern Idaho. So for the Magic Valley tomorrow, low to mid 80s, 84 for a high in Twin Falls into the Central Mountains. Great golfing weather up through Sun Valley, high of 67 tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. For the West Central Mountain, 70 for a high in McCall. We'll look for upper 60s and low 70s for Garden Valley. And mid to even upper 80s, a potential for the Treasure Valley due to a southeast breeze, which you know that southeast breeze has a tendency to really push our temperatures up. But there's a good reason to be weather aware tomorrow. We're spending a lot of time outside. We're enjoying the warmth. It's a very slight chance, but it is a chance that we see some strong and potentially severe storms popping up tomorrow evening right around supper time. So between 6 and around 9 p.m. until the sun goes down, that chance does remain and some of these cells could get a little bit ornery. When I'm talking about the threats of strong to severe thunderstorms, uh, this is the storm's outlook from the Storms Prediction Center in Oklahoma. It's basically a one on a scale of five, so it's a slight chance, but still marginal or some of these storms could get marginally close to severe criteria, which would be gusty damaging winds of 58 miles per hour at least could be even stronger. So tying down the trampolines, the patio furniture, you don't want to lose any of it. Uh, and again, just keep an ear to the sky and eye to the sky. And when thunder roars, head indoors, keeping mild temperatures around for the first half of the week. But we're not done with the spring ups and downs just yet as we see temperatures cool down yeah. for the end of next week. Yeah, Carolyn. but thanks for letting us know, even if it's a slight chance, it could be pretty bad There's tomorrow. So thank you late in the day, as you say, Brie.